Baby Styles, and I'm excited today because we're going to be doing a DIY. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say Happy Resurrection Sunday because I am a Christian, or Happy Easter, whatever doesn't offend you. But I'm excited again because we're going to be doing a DIY. Now, the theme is how to frame your wall. Now, I'm going to kind of take you step by step on what it is that I did or what I do to save me time, money, and frustration. Now, keep in mind, DIYs should be fun, they should be creative, and they should be your own unique personal style. And that's what AMB Styles is about. It's about helping you to bring out the best out of you when it comes to style, whether it's fashion, home decor, and lifestyle. If you haven't already, subscribe to the AMB Styles channel or you can follow me on any of my social media to stay up to date with the latest. Also, don't forget to show some love and like the page. Now, let's get started. Now what you can do, this is optional, this is a DIY tip, but you can lay all the frames on the floor to kind of give yourself an idea or a preview of what they're going to look like on the wall. Now right here, I'm trying to shuffle my frames around, trying to see which best reflects my style. You can have fun with it, there's no right or wrong. I like a clean, simple, minimal look, and I truly believe the phrase that less is more. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with two frames on the outside with the large frame in the center. Now the first thing that you're gonna have to do is trace each frame. Doing this will give you an idea of how it's gonna look on the wall and you'll see later on what I mean by that. But what I went ahead and did was use old wrapping paper. And the thing you wanna remember is that DIY sometimes can get so expensive, so you wanna to try to find ways to be cost conscious about your DIY. And what I did here is I just pulled something that I already had. And the great thing about this wrapping paper is that it has a grid behind it, so it gives me an idea on where to cut. Now you will do this for all three frames so make sure that you cut them exactly according to the frame size because this is going to help you later on when you're placing them on the wall to kind of see how they're going to look. So sometimes whenever you buy items such as furniture pieces or frames from a thrift shop, you gotta understand that it's, it, might, it might have some scrapes or some scratches, but this is a DIY and that's what makes it fun. So all I did here was just buy some paint from Walmart for like 98 cents and I just simply applied it to the scrapes and scratches and then I rubbed my finger just to kind of make it look a little bit more distressed, but still kind of natural. Like I said, there's nothing that a little black paint can't fix. This is optional but what I did is I noticed that there was dirt building up inside of the frame so I went with the baby wipe. I always have baby wipes around to clean up dirt and little stains but I kind of went around and just cleaned it up just so that way you wouldn't see it from multiple angles whenever people were looking at the pictures. Now it's time to discuss the theme. So you want to do something that reflects your style. Right now I'm really into this tropical minimal look. So I went ahead and snatched these uh, palm leaves from a retail store. They were throwing them out. And sometimes retail stores have really cool window displays that they just throw away that could be utilized later on for really good DIYs. So, but if you're looking for tropical leaves, check your local craft store, Hobby Lobby, or even magnolia.com. Now this next step is placing the cutouts that you cut out earlier on the wall. Now doing this is going to give you an idea of how it's going to look. Now you always want to remember that the cutouts or your frame should be at eye level. So just depending on how tall you are, you want to make sure that they are at eye level for everybody to see in your living room. Now one of the frames did not have a backdrop, so what I did is I made one out of cardstock and it's gonna work the same way as it would an original backdrop that comes with the frame. Now your next step here is to frame your decor. I went ahead and went with this palm leaf I'm going to put it inside of my frame here. Now a DIY tip to remember is whenever you're putting any kind of decor pieces like plants or things like that, use tape. This will help to secure your decor. That way whenever you put it inside of the frame, it doesn't move. 
Now what I also did is in order to put pressure on it, I grabbed magazines that I had nearby and I held it on there maybe for about five to 10 minutes, something simple, really easy. That way I can make sure that the leaf was secure. Now it's time to put the frame on top of the decor. Now, when you want to take your time with this, there's no rushing it. Just make sure that you're really careful about it. That way, nothing gets out of place and it doesn't look crooked. Now the next step to do here is to place your frames on the wall. Now you can see that the cutout is different than the frame that I'm placing. It's because the frame I was originally going to use I actually broke, but I had a backup one. Now pay attention to the hooks on the back of the frame. That's going to determine where it's going to hang. Now you can see that I'm marking it on the grid. That way I know where to put the nail on the wall. Now after you secured your nail, you can slowly start removing the cutouts off the wall. You would do this for each one at a time. Now it's time to place the frame on the wall. You want to make sure that the frame is hooked on the nail directly. That way it doesn't fall or break and that it's not crooked. And also, please excuse my Aztec print on my shirt. I'm in my comfortable clothes and I'm at home. Thank you very much. Now you repeat the same steps that you did for the first frame on the other two cutouts. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to the ending here, that way you can kind of see the turnout. But I would have to say it came out pretty good. I want to say that I love the way that these frames look. They all look unified and still yet different. My wife was so shocked her mouth was in awe when she came home. And I have to say it was a pretty good feeling. All right, you guys, that concludes this DIY. I hope this inspires you whenever you're framing your wall for spring. Also, keep in mind to like the page and subscribe to the AMB Styles channel. You can visit any of my social media sites or visit ambstyles.com to stay up to date with the latest. Until next time, guys, be blessed.